Um, this tiny, it is mind control, so he's playing middle, so that means he's played off lane, middle, and carry already in, in one day with NIP. I'm, I'm trying, I don't know. Uh, as he said, tiny. Oh, it's going to be a possible specter middle? Eating all these trees, or cutting all these trees by no, the no, middle lane. Is there yeah, a reason yeah. to that? I'm the monkey king. Oh, okay. Don't let him hop around on you. Fair Should enough, be okay. Fair enough. That's good. And then, yeah, my bad. It looks like Spectre is actually just going to block for him. No, he's going to run top now. All right. So nothing cr too scandalous going on right now. Well, the panel made the impression that this game is going to be heavy on the tiny. I mean, they more so said that when, no. when Fato was potentially to be set on that. Do you think that's still the case now? Or does that change things up a bit? Is... I think if this tiny wins middle, he will just take over the game. Like this Monkey King won't be able to do anything. He'll just get destroyed by tiny. Lena won't be able to do anything. It really is. If this tiny is a good start, it could just be NIP in like 2530. But if he has a bad one, this Monkey King could just run him over. That's the thing. They both have like these very fast paced cores in Monkey King and Tiny that want to just keep fighting, not farming. And then you have a Spectre. Here we see Peter kind of poking at Tavo quite a bit. Misery's here now as well. Wait, Misery? Misery, Earth Spirit. Earth Spirit. You don't see it a whole lot. I know I've seen it at least one other time. Yeah, that. <laughs> It's just weird, right? It's we, misery, we, though, man. He yeah, plays everything. He really does. We talk about this to, so like, four and five positions, and you have this usually four position needs farm. And just like his Rubik, I mean, he's not going to find much farm in Earth Spirit, and you really would like farm on this hero, so I, I don't like that, honestly. Yeah, I mean, you have a quota to meet. Typically, you're committed to an Earth Spirit kind of a game. You're looking to kind of make a lot of action happen here. He tried to go for the roll through the top lane a bit. Didn't really find any connection there, but... If he's not able to find any openings in the early game like you're talking about, it does become quite the struggle to just kind of stay relevant because his farming abilities are pretty much non-existent. You don't want to have to commit boulder combos onto waves or neutral camps. So you're pretty much stuck either taking team fights, being around team fights, or trying to go for kills. I just want to see what this like Spectre's purpose in this game oh, is going to be. He rolled to get the range creep. Smart. And I'm getting it. Middle lane, this tiny 7 3 versus 5 0. Pretty even ish. Tiny is having a little bit better time, but as you actually get Fiery Soul, makes his lane a lot easier. You hit one stun with a Fiery Soul stack on you, it's like three to four easy right clicks. Yeah. And then bottom lane, the only one other one we haven't talked about, but Weaver Rubik, we thought was going to go off lane, is actually safe lane. And I don't know, it's, it really isn't the strongest, especially if Monkey King gets like some Jingu stacks. It can be really tough for this Weaver. Yeah, and I don't think Rubik has the best time trying to zone back a Wyvern. Obviously, Wyvern early on is going to have Arctic Burn, as we see now, kind of committing with. Meanwhile, top lane, Misery rolling, and this time he'll go onto Ace with that roll. It's a little bit of poking damage a bit, using the best of that Orb of Venom. But there's some harassment here. Yeah, I didn't notice before, he was using the roll to help take out the range creep. Never yeah. thought of that. He can get in real quick and make sure he snipes down the creep. Um, range it's not too bad. So important in this patch. Yeah, like, it's so much experience, so much gold. You, you just have to. You have to commit so much mana. You see, like when we actually see Venges in this game, they just commit stuns to get it. Oh my God, Weeha, seven uh, HP metal. Burns, doesn't it? <laughs> if that, you, you bet you wish you got me, huh? Yeah. If that was a dire creep, would have got him. My control tells us. <laughs> oh my goodness! How do you just let him? Do oh, oh and he tips him as well. Yep. Oh, he's no gonna less. get the rune. It's still not good. He's really low HP and mana. It might be better to just die here. No, he's gonna okay. we will just bottle up. He'll just ran for it. He's like, if he wants to stop to hit that creep, I'll just toss. Okay, easy enough. And that's only level one. He just level one toss him like three times Damn. in a row. Nice. Worked him. As he tried to go for that range creep kick again, was denied this time. Ooh, so Dyer does get that pull bottom. That's big. This Monkey King's already leveled through. I don't know, Pain. Besides middle lane, I think Pain's having a good time top and bottom. And it's not like Lena's having a terrible game. Lena gets to come back with full HP mana, has a bottle now. I think, honestly, Pain's pretty happy with how all three of these lanes are going. Yep. We'll have to see if they can kind of keep that trend going or not. They're just going to keep Misery in this bit, or in this top position, rather. Bottom lane. Fada trying to make the most of how the lane's getting pulled away from him a bit. And they're just sniping the creeps as best they can. Saw Socks of Fate bolt down the range creep there. But man, lots of harassment coming out. That Arctic burn every time it's up, do a lot of damage. Stun, fighting over the runes towards the top between Mind Control and Wii, but Mind Control just pops the illusion, runs out the other side. <laughs> Manages to bait combos out. 
That's we, six, huh? 16 gold. Oh, and he's got a mind control. What is it? Whoa, whoa. Bottom and middle, I think. Yeah, Bottom gets the kill on King RD, and now I think mind control should die here, but maybe Lena won't be able to catch up. Wow, this is just a lot of wasted time for both for both players. Unless we are does snipe this. Are you gonna go you, for it? You gonna drag and slay from downtown? I don't even think no. that would kill him. Touch tree toss the other yeah. way. That wouldn't even kill anyways. He had 195. Like, I don't know. These two middle are like <laughs> they don't want to lose to each other. I don't think they're like back nah. from that toss. Yep, now top. They just farm all the eidolons. And look at Peter is bullying Tabo. Gets this is he to, he's gonna get this kill. One more. Yep. Oh, he could have Damn. He could have probably woken him. Fallen asleep himself by tank. I think he would have died either way, but there might have been some cool tricks he could have done. With. Maybe. 3 0 for NIP now. And after I said they're winning all three lanes, it but looks like they're not. Bounties for pain. He, they're going to eat all four of them. Okay, they're winning. I told them. Yeah, we see the finish there of King RD in the bottom lane. That's Fada getting multiple kills on what lane felt pretty good for pain, so that's got to be great to help him out. But yeah, as just mentioned, pain in the meantime are able He's to suiciding. secure all of the bounty runes for it. That's and, fine. Uh, yeah, suicide. Got people have his full Aquila too. I don't know. Yeah, I think that's still worth. If you're paying though, you're happy that you get four bounties. Not only that, you denied right because Weaver could have stayed in lane if he got that bounty rune because he has a bottle could have just stayed, but because True. he stole, he can't. So still, I would say it's just pretty. I mean, it's four to one, but it feels pretty damn even. Yeah, definitely does. I mean, the cores of NIP seem to be getting a lot going for him. I mean, it's trouble right now for Peter in the top lane, but Ace is king of CS, and we've seen Vada string together a couple of kills at the bottom. Saw Mind Control even snipe a toss kill in the mid lane. So, yeah, it's definitely very close. Yep, I think the thing bottom, is... Bottom, lose for Fada here. He's trying to make it back in the way. Nice bank oh. shot with the Splinter Blast, but he's able to bottle Sakuchi away from trouble. He's going to be fine. Meanwhile, top roll does find connection. He goes for the stun. Yes, he does. Sleep. Needs more right clicks, gets it done. He needs to be careful. Never mind, the idol lines die. This should just one be more. a kill. Oh, I trying two. to yeah, chew his way out of this one. Dude, I didn't realize. Ace is very far. 33 yeah. insane. It's not like he's killing Spiderlings. When you kill an Eidolon, Eidolons are like 32 gold. Yep. So it's a little less than a normal creep, but you're getting a ton of farm. I mean, I, I'm already, I don't switch the net worth early often, but he's in second place. And the Spectre, you're pretty happy in a game like this. Obviously, Monkey King reasonably counters you in the mid game until you actually have an item or two. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely intrigued to see HFN's Monkey King. I personally have never had he's, the opportunity to see it. He seems like, I mean, how I view him, he's like 90%. He, he's a farmer. He's a hardcore farmer, which can be good, but on Monkey King, you got to be active. Yeah. You that's have the thing. to. You get a couple of items right away, but you want to go get some blood on those items right away, I'd imagine. Oh. Be just farming the late game Cabo. like a Spectre. Swinging in a bit. Top lane also. Stuns out. Tabo trying to run on out. There's the tree toss. Ace is doing a great job. Daggers and blocks him from the front. There's the toss, and Ace should be able to get the finish. Clean job there from NIP in the top lane. Oh, and with my controls rotation, he's actually heading his way to the bottom lane right now. Oh, trouble for HFN. Heads in, and he's going to be finished off. Beautiful setup across the board. That's the first uh, haunt coming into play. We see my control who's rotated on over. He's, he's trying going. to get close enough. He could even toss on four uh, his partner if he'd like. But no, just moves in, toss up and down. NIP are just making action happen everywhere. Only good thing out of that, I mean, not much good, but at least Spectre's ulti is down. Now Weeha, he can play a lot more aggressive middle. Like, he can just try pushing his tower. Whenever Mind Control leaves, just push a tower. You know Spectre can't get on you, and yeah, there you go. We got Peter. Easy. Good assistance there from Misery. And they may or may not be needed, but that's will find it. That's a big rune. If Mind Control gets that haste rune, he just instantly can go and kill Lina. But because Weeha gets it, it actually changes the game quite a bit. Weeha's going to rotate with the top. And that's a that'd be a pretty big kill to get this guy. Long reach, misery will find the stun. Follows it up with the grip silence, and uh, that's all they can get out of it. With Peter stepping in with the sleep, trying that to made the it. end of it. Oh, we he just wants to pepper down Peter. It's space for them to get the finish onto that tier one top. Yep. This is a pretty fast paced game actually. Twelve kills, eight minutes. Mm. Tier one towers going down. I think it's mind control. Looks like he is just going to go straight blink after that bottle. Brings himself a bunch of regen, but no treads or anything. I mean, why not? I mean, between the tricore they kind of have going, the other two can easily kind of coast themselves toward the later game. You have to have one person who kind of wants to throw down in the mid game. Yeah. Blink dagger will help that. Yeah, I mean, that is so just Toss. That hero. Nice setup here. The poor man's blink dagger as mind control throws Soxa into action. 
but uh, it looks like they don't want to pursue that any further. A rotation is forced out by King RD. Slaps a sentry on the ground. And Who else was that? It was Misery or Enigma, because there was double TP, and that's why Radiant went back, but they instantly canceled, and I think if Radiant saw that, they would have kept going, but... And maybe Misery has no TP on hand now. But a nice play. Fight Nonetheless. for the runes in 30 seconds. Misery is already prepping himself in that area. So you'll probably see some rotations coming out from both sides. Looks like a two for two. Radiant gets both top two. Maybe not, though. They're, they're playing a little bit passive here. And Peter? He's pinging there like, if someone wants to go with me, maybe we can contest this. Yep, they have yep, to know. They do. They do. They don't. They do. They oh. might see Tavo leave the lane and second guess it. Yeah. With Helm of the Dominator, they know he has Black Hole, actually. that is You don't want to run uphill. Two for it's two. A smart play. Will be, though. And there's the Invis rune bottom. It's like Lino will get that, or oh, mind control. It's gonna be a fight for this rune. <gasps> stun grab. Oh, quick LSA. But he got the stun off too. <laughs> but it is gonna be Wee who's able to bottle it up. You wanted to force him to use the invis rune, but top. Oh, I heard a black yeah. hole, and I heard yeah. it end real quick. That's not good. Yep, they get the kill on Ace. He black holes him like over into the waterfall, and then just the Eidolons end up finishing him off. Uh, I guess it's a good black hole if it gets a kill on the Spectre. Top net worth for NIP at the moment. See, Peter grabs the tome, but he's not using it yet. He wants to deceptively fool his opponents into thinking he's not level six yet, but then he'll suddenly have it and grip them. Whoa, gotcha. See, I have the good book here and I read it. it looks like that's what they're going to try to do. And it does seem like Monkey King is going to battle for your ability. He wants to play a hard carry. Ooh. Metal. Is he going to grip him? No. Does he pop the book? Yes, he does. He's got level six, but he doesn't have mana grant. Now he does. Does he want to use Brain it right here? Instead. No, he saps instead. Yeah. What is He'll just happening? walk him back right now. Just pepper you a little bit. Oh, he commits the curse. His misery rolls in, but there's going to be no follow-up damage. Beautiful double stun. The silence follow-up is there. There's the old Hard inspector. move in. Here comes the haunt, as he said. Ace is getting in on the action. He's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the other core. HFN's also getting in. What? Did those... Those golems just got a double kill on King RD and Misery. Those golems are putting in work. Oh, but this is the big kill. Yep, HFN. Oh, barely. Gonna be able to make it up to the tree. Oh, wow. Down. I can't believe they both got, man. Fod has to be so mad. I saw him on that Weaver. He's like sakuching in there, and he just can't get the kill as the golem beats his ass. Golem series MVP potentially here. Yep. Man, Soxa steals Eidolons now, so we might just see Enigma versus Enigma top. And this is, I mean, it's going pretty well. Pain, I mean, they wish this Monkey King wasn't dying because Monkey King is not a hero that's like, oh, yeah, I'll come back and be a, quite the menace. He wants to always, he's like a TA-ish. He wants to always be ahead. He wants to be doing that, but right now. If he's not taking not. kills and fights and doing stuff, he'll, I don't see him ever getting ahead of the Spectre unless they're somehow just on the Spectre and can continue to bring Ace down. But Ace has gone into, like, just hibernating farm mode. Yep. And there you see the... Replay a very, ugh, I mean, it was just a long, drawn out fight. Yeah, and then the neutrals end up winning. Yeah, as they slowly walk it down here, they decide that, that at that point is when they'll want to intercept onto yep. the action. But yeah, all very awkward. The golems getting <laughs> most of the action. Sub golems, yep, easy kill. Get the hell out of my neighborhood. All right, here we go. We're seeing something. Oh, I didn't see it. Might have been a high level play that I may have missed. Yeah, that's typical Dakota. <laughs> high level play for you, too, man. Black hole. Just kidding. What's some? Have you seen an actual five-man black hole when you've been casting, like a like game-changing five-man black hole? Do you recall? Uh, I don't know actually. When I think about it, I've seen some big RPs and such, but oh. there had to have been a decent black hole in my days of games. Dude, this bottom. They're just toying with each other right now. They, I think both teams know there's like a, a plus one in the woods somewhere. Mm. They just don't know where. Sounds fishy. There's people missing off the map. HFN just looks like such a good target for NIP to continue to bully. With mind control hiding on the side. Might be something they can kind of go for here. HFN. He does commit out with the uh, boundless strike. Oh, but Misery wants to confidently move forward. Misery's level 6 now, so he does have the magnetize ready to go. But he's eating a lot of damage. He's just going to go down. Oh, is he? I spoke too soon. The chase is on for Fata. He's going to be able to get the time lapse off. There's the finish of Misery now. A grip is out. It gets quickly canceled Whoa. as the curse does fly forward hey, hey, here. Peter. Yeah, man. They dish everything they can to get that Bane out. He's still sapping and staying oh, alive. Nice hole. Here we go. Hole set up to 
They get the grab onto Mind Control here, following it up with the LSA, and that should do it. Action for Pain here. The bottom lane scoring two. I love Tavo just lets it rip. So that's two black holes, two kills. It's worth it. He barely got him on the edge. Like, if you miss that black hole, you are not feeling very good. But instead, turn into a big kill. And yep. I don't know, Mind Control just fell behind. He did end up going treads, and now he's like... He's still like five minutes away from a blink as a middle tiny at yeah. 15 minutes. This is all you have? It's looking rough. Yeah, that's quite surprising how things have fallen off a little bit for him. I guess Ace continues to farm in the meantime. He had Haunt, I believe, for that little bit of a trade, but did not have to commit for it's it. going the Euro more European build because you don't really see this in NA. You still see like Diffusal or Yasha's first, but I've seen most of these ones on Spectre. They like Mask of Madness. Ulti now, Weeha. See nice. Ya. Toss in. Now they use the haunt to get him a part of that Weeha kill, and they're looking for follow ups here. Ace is on the chase, looking to go for Tavo. They know Toss he doesn't have one. a black hole. 15 charges on the stick. Is he going to even commit it? Yeah, he will. Oh my goodness. Ah! No. There it is. Get some. Tavo gives him a little kiss before he goes, but unfortunately, he does hand over extra pennies to the scary Spectre. Oh, metal. Yep. Misery trying to roll into assist his HFN. Oh, canceled of the stun. But the stolen bound, boundless strike. Well played oh, there from Toss Soxa. in. Tiny airlines with the Bane. Yep. As he's slept, he'll quickly get bursted down. My control scores that. And with those, he's already much closer to the blink. It was going to be five minutes, but now with the action breaking out, wow. he's just a couple of kills, a couple of creep kills away. Oh, and HFN versus Fada. No, man. If he got the. He got silenced right before he got that bug off, like in the middle river. That would have been an easy kill on Monkey, but. Some good mini stuns coming out. I don't know, this Monkey will have Battle Fury in about two minutes. Pretty quick timing, 18 minutes is not terrible. If no, not it's sooner. not, even on really any core. Yep. He is top net worth. The problem is the Spectre is level 12 and actually farming with the Mask of Madness. Yeah, she's got that later game and the later innings to be better. Yeah, and as long as she's ahead now, it's or close to being ahead. More than, more than happy for NIP. But we'll see, if Pain can turn it up, if they can put the pedal to the metal, as they say. Maybe they can kind of encroach on NIP's turf and restrict a lot of the farming that you know, Spectre will be, be able to do. Wow, the pedal to the metal. What's the fastest you've gotten in a car? Ugh, dude, I'm not, I'm not very fast. I really? Mean, I maybe went 100 once just to see it. That's it? Uh, you weren't like a, a you weren't a high schooler who like, you know, nah. had his friends Acura Integra. That's what I did. I went 140. That was some good times. Damn, Grant, you're a badass. Yeah. You like to go fast. I don't want to say that. I was going like 140 kilometers per. Oh, What's I see. What's their time here? Their time? Is or... it, do they use hours in Europe and stuff? What do you mean? What now? I don't know. Because <laughs> we use miles per hour. Do they yeah. use kilometers? Okay, yeah. Just kilometers, I don't know if they use like kilometers. made up time as well. It's, it's made whatever, up though. time? <laughs> you never know. <laughs> they are on European time here. Oh, okay. Is this made up? We're in Southeast Asia right now, but when I did go quick, it was in Europe. All right, fair enough. You know, I'm not, I'm not breaking America. Yeah, I'm not breaking American laws. I mean, police. Oh, okay, good, good then. But European laws, yeah, whatever. Oh, this monk king. Oh, Toxa knows he's there too. Meanwhile, we see that Sorry, toss that. catch of the King RD. But yeah, they are definitely trying to get the grab on the monkey king. He's able to double leap out <gasps> from potential oh, trouble. Oh no, that's his battle fury that just died on the chicken. Uh oh, that is, is going not to... good. Suck. Good grab is mind control sniping down that chicken. Middle Casually man. on route. Meanwhile, Soxa getting the jump, finishing off on the misery. And I know, I know, uh, you know, one of the primary NA cores. Mason does not like the man to build on Spectre anymore. Mostly just because, I mean, the des the desolate nerfs lately have just been insane. The radius makes it feel like you never get it. It got nerfed time and time before that as well, but. We'll see. I mean, it's always good stats, good for farming, good for team fighting. What yeah. else are you going to go? Like, Get rid of late radiance? Silence on, yeah. from Earth Spirit, that I guess. That as well. I'd, probably the biggest reason. Ooh. So Tavo, he's been trying to just push with his helmet of the dummy. He has blink up as well. Dude, losing that battle here really sucks for him. Oh, they should find mine. Mine control is definitely just out in the middle of nowhere right here. Space created, right? Space created by our middle player. I mean, maybe. They have a Spectre, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, he did Tosses. a lot of damage. Yeah, they did. Oh, is that a haunt Hold committed? They look to go for the finish. Fata's able to get the takedown of HFN. Misery almost goes down. But here we go. Nice return fire from King RD scoring the finish with that Splinter Blast. That was a double by King RD. He 
he kept him there. He gets the kill, and Spectre could have easily just went middle and gotten an extra kill. Yep. Ran away with like 50 HP, and now they get a tower. So Pain, even without this Monkey King's Battle Fear, they're fighting back. The other four heroes. Yeah, they're making they're making the most of what they can right now. Because again, you can't just help but feel like as the game just continues to draw on longer, the chances for NIP are only going to get greater. Yeah, but they're doing their best to be able to kind of make the most of this opportunity while they kind of have this momentum. They take that tier one, they get some damage on the tier two. They're going to sweep their way through N N NIP's jungle, take away their farm, drop some wards. You see one already go down right here, and uh, just kind of use that to their advantage. They have Blink Black Hole at the ready here for Tavo, so if they want to kind of do a little loop to dupe and come back towards the mid lane, they might be able to catch NIP by a surprise if they want. Oh, and Misery is old, even though it's only level one ulti still. With that black hole, they will put out a ton of damage as those two. Yep. I wonder what Ruby, besides black hole, I'm trying to, what does he really want to steal? I think LSA is good. The instant cast, boundless strike. Any, like, instant cast stun is always good to take. Splinter yep. Blast as well is just a really good ability. Yep. Yeah, there's some decent options out there. Yeah. I imagine it sucks to steal anything from Earth Spirit because you don't get the stones. Yeah, it actually is terrible. <laughs> I mean, you literally just help Earth Spirit because the stones, I believe, do stay or some weird. I thought someone said some weird thing where, like, it, you there can't steal or whatever. There was a post about the Morphling swapping between Earth Spirit and being oh, able to that. keep dropping. Okay. Yeah, that's the stones what it was. refresh yeah. every time he changes back and forth between Earth Spirit, so he could just infinitely keep dropping stones on a magnetize. I don't even think like that plays. Like it's it's the people that make it. Like, yeah. like who would think to do that? And then they're just like, yeah, we're awesome. Wow. Meanwhile, Valve's like, man, why did we do this with Morph? Oh, like, he is just such a headache to deal with. We can't admit we've done anything wrong. <laughs> we keep him good. He'll be in the next patch. All right. See you later, Tier 2. Is Tier 2 going to drop top? My oh, man. Fada was rushing to get a hold of that courier. If he got it again, oh, no. That would have been a travesty. But he could pay the price himself for getting a little too frisky in the woods here. He had already committed his time lapse. Damn. They're just going to commit the holes of above. Finish him off. They get a tier two because of that, but still, I, I, I like what Tavo is doing. Maybe you might have to stop doing those solo black holes soon because I would say it, it's a rather even game. But as it goes later, Spectre is going to get stronger. You're you probably are technically losing this game, and you got to start getting game changing black holes. Honestly, when the Spectre gets the Scotty, if that's what she wants to go for here, I, I don't even see the likes of HFN being able to bring her down easy. Yeah. He's got that battle through done, yeah, but uh, moving forward for uh, Yasha next. And you have the rest of the team, right? Monkey King does commit. Tiny could just blow you up right there if he doesn't go on the back lines. Even Weaver. Weaver does a, a bunch of damage going BKB next after Maelstrom. Mm. I don't know. This is maybe the most even game we've watched so far. Lots of time here for Payne to kind of cool off with that black hole already being committed. We'll see if it's NIP to kind of have a call to arms. Haunt is up as well. I don't really see any reason why they can't try to go make some action happen here. Only well, he went though. You got cool. smoke on Peter, so yeah, they definitely want to make something happen. He went cool in reduction instead of gold per minute on Enigma, which means they definitely don't want to take it Ooh, late. Jump toss Ooh, catch. They spot misery. Yeah. They'll get the quick finish there. Can they make more out of it? Yes, they can. Haunt out. Nice slowed. Dodge. Good curse there to slow him in his tracks, but the chase is still on. And even a toss from downtown. Help oh. secure it for Fada, double kill three, hit the deck from Pain, and well, the game was pretty even, but oh, yeah. they get that, and if they get the Roche, then, well, things have just certainly gotten a bit favored for NIP. That was slick. You can see the Meepo micro from Ace there. Just Manta splits, moves his real hero over, curses it, and his two illusions just chase him down and get the kill. Can't do Roche. You don't have the best Roche taking. I remember Trent said that. And with the Spectre, especially in the Midnight Pulse, like, you can't fight in that. Still down. Ace is like, please go away. Yeah. Now you can, with bugs. They up. know the black hole's not there. They know the big team fight's not there for pain. They even took out misery first, so that's like all of their team fight it feels. So it's just running down the rest. I mean, HFN doesn't have to be a, a part of that, but he's still got a journey ahead of him. He wants to kind of catch up with the potential of the Spectre now, who's sporting an Ages of Immortal. Yep. Ages, three thousand away from Scotty, if that's what he wants to go. I don't know. It feels like pain. They're already kind of not missing their chance. Obviously, we haven't seen a big, like, blink black hole yet. But you just lose Roche when you have Earth Spirit, 
yeah. Winter Wyvern, Monkey King, and Enigma, who all just love team fighting. Their Rock wombo Roche. combo is actually ridiculous. I know it you is. mentioned like the black hole magnetize, but imagine Monkey oh, King all in yeah. the middle of that, and you know Splinter Blast popping out and Lena damage. It can be actually quite ridiculous. So you know, no pressure, Tavo, but you might want to land a you got to hit a fatty, a fatty. Yeah, you got to hit a, you got to hit a fatty. You got to hit a fatty hole, son. And I mean. We've seen him time and time again. Tavo used to back on, it was, was it SG? Sorry. Or not that sure. No, I don't think. No, I Pain, think it was just Pain. SG I think it was just Pain, or, yeah. uh, what's the I other don't know. team? Tavo has always been Pain Act. I don't know. I'm just kidding. There's one other team I can't think of. What was the Smash team? Unknown. 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 No, that wasn't that was team, Smash but team. that was the other team. I know you're talking about. Uh, Elite Wolves? Elite Wolves. Team. Elite Wolves, yeah. I don't know. They've... Tavo, he is he's been the big like playmaker for pretty much any team he's ever yeah. been on and it feels like he's playing this more split pushy enigma, but I think as time goes on this game especially, he has to hit a big black hole. For sure. We'll see, because the Spectre is gonna be level eighteen before the next fight. And what did he go? Did he go to Fusel? He is going to Fusel, and he uh, does have it. Yeah, he changed it up a bit from the Yikes, original that's... idea of the Scotty. A lot more damage, especially since they go on your Han illusions. They actually do so much. And now you can chase people down. They're, they're going to finally stop running from you. Yeah, they want to punish the Spectre before she kind of gets her next talent. Oh, Definitely they go over the kill easier. top. They get she it. She goes right in. Uh, HFN is Dang. trying to get something out with the ultimate, but they just make quick work. And oh, that no. is your trump card for pain. And he gets quickly handled about. Return though from we. Oh, not gonna get it though. Ace is able to step off. Now Pain could be in further trouble. They've already lost three. Make it four. What? Just like that. It's only misery alive hanging by that mid lane. Oh yeah. man, NIP are really opening this one up. It was even, and then NIP favored when they took that brief fight, and now it's just six K advantage. So that was very clean from NIP and Sly. Like. That was a four for zero. I don't even want to call it a fight. It just felt like it was a good pickoff by Soxa. And all of a sudden, there's just more heroes like running towards them in tiny mind control, right place, right time. Damn. And they just, just broke it open. Ace tipping his former teammate. Damn. 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 Well, they're just going to take the base, huh? All right. <laughs> What's up, base? They sh I think you get to tier three and you get out. We'll I mean, they have ages. Maybe they go for the range tracks. Be interested to see. Well, they're going right. to go for Peter. <laughs> Morbid. He's like the Mask of Madness chop of Peter Dang. right there with the curse. Oh, but they're going to find Misery. Jump in Soxa, dishing out. Some uh, extra bit of damage here. The bugs flying through. Misery, trying to survive, is able to make it away barely. And it looks like just going to be taking the Tier 3. Still a good accomplishment for NIP. The problem is, it's actually funny. They can't take this top shrine. 24 armor. They're going to... They ping it. I don't know if you can actually take this because they want it for next Roche, but there's no way you bring this down without Dyer coming. HFN has a full Manta now with Battle Fury. It still just doesn't feel like he does very much. Like, he almost survived, but even if he survived, he gets ulti off. He just dies again. He, he needs to get at least one more tanky item, I think. Yeah, uh, it's going to be a while. He's been brought down multiple times and he's going to be waiting quite a bit. Teammates tipping each other. Yeah. What is, I, I'm not a fan of this Aether. Like, I like this build on Lena when you're a support, but Yule's into Aether, into Blink on, like, your middle. Like, especially when you're against a Spectre, you might just have to go that Machine Gun build. I know. This it, one feels it, rough. It just makes it feel even more like it's on the Monkey King to do anything. Yeah. To do damage. Lena could do some damage, but we even saw there in that last fight, she was able to put out everything she could onto Ace, but still not enough. The team needs to all be there. They might need to wait till this BKB is complete on Tavo. But it doesn't seem like they're waiting. They're just rolling through this bottom lane. But if they have that BKB with the black hole set up, that might be one of their best chances here. Go for the Hail Mary. Uh-oh. Possible trouble for King RD. He takes to the skies to fly away from the haters. But he goes down right away. They defuse them all up. And oh my god, HFN could be next. Already greeted on the high ground. He's just Death. evaporated. Yeah, I... It just <laughs> feels like this. tips ace for killing him. Like, <laughs> I, don't I don't know. This game felt so close. And then, like, these, uh, they're not fights, right? Like, it's just NIP finding him in, like, a bad position. And they just get these, like, they just get these easy kills. And those are on a big horde. That's a Monkey King. Those are top net worth by far. And now Fod is level 20. Those plus two swarm attacks to kill. That is, like, an upgraded ultimate. That is such a good talent for him. 
Spectre gets the 500 health talent. Just insane with, yeah. with dispersion. Now, like, the Lagoon is not even going to feel nearly as no. damaging or powerful. And he's going for, like, the Ags build. So it will still do a ton of damage, but, I mean, this Spectre is probably going to have another item by the time Lena gets that. Yep, yep, yep. yep. I'm curious, I'm curious about how they're going to prioritize the farm on the pain. I think you... I mean, you want to prioritize it on the monkey, but... Every time he's been out there to try to farm, it seems like they find an opportunity to get the jump on him. Roche may respawn to him. It's still a while away. I don't think NIP... I mean, they're in no rush. Like, wait, we got a Spectre. All right. BKB, Whatever. Black Hole Time. Smoke's out. Man, I don't want to say this is, like, their last attempt at a fight, but if this went disastrous, to be honest... It could be. I could see a GG call. If I it went disastrous. Yeah, it would. I mean, they do have Winter Wyvern, Boundless Strike, all that. So yeah. it would be. Whoa, they're going to blink forward. It's just that HFN been brought down no, so many times. The case is on another level, but they got to try to go. They just commit everything they can and, and just give the information out that they were trying to go for a gank. NIP got to be feeling that illusion. That. Just like took a fourth of Monkey King's health. Has to earn back up. Yeah. Oh, oh and they're okay. the rotato. Yep. Comes an IP from the north, probably something that Payne are not going to be expecting, so they are just split all over the place. They do manage to find a quick snipe onto Peter, but as the toss combo comes out, a good little cold embrace. Now the Monkey King ult. We desperate to stay alive with the self Yules, but eventually will be brought down. The Magnetize being committed there for Misery, doing uh, some decent damage, but man, Pain is just eating an all out assault coming in from NIP, and they're going to be losing all five at the end of it with Ace. Securing a triple kill. Wow. I'm going to give a shout. Peter die back there to grip the Enigma for like 0.5 seconds when he was about to hold. So even though like the Enigma was going to yeah. hold, he got just barely good. So even though Peter die back, he, I mean, that was probably the best play of that fight. That was a well done by him. And they're just going to run down. Man, this is a Spectre who is just 5,000 gold up. This is like a TA level of farm, how far up she is above everyone else. A yeah. full Scotty and like 500 gold. My goodness, not much more to say about the Spectre. Except that she's, you know, she's woke. Yeah, she's <laughs> very woke. And just gonna take it, look at this. What, where's Mind Control? Mind Control's going for some crazy <laughs> thing, and I think the King Arby knew. The space of spaces. You can't go oh. to your racks if you have to deal with me. That was, I, I, I saw what he was going for. He's like, I'm gonna trick him. But I think he was in vision bottom, because they have the sentry, or top, they have the sentry ward at the, the hill. And he just like walk through it. Well, good try. A little bit of a siege effort there. They get the tier three to about a third of its life. But I think mind no control finish. would do that on Liquid. <laughs> or he's like, whatever, I'm standing in sea at the fountain. Or if Peter's <laughs> like, you wouldn't do that on Liquid, Son would you? I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> you might lose this game, even though I know we're up by a lot. Spectre has a Scotty in like one creep camp. Double damage there as well. Who's going to find it? Peter will see. Oh, just deny it. Nice. Scotty. Spectre's going to be unkillable. It really is. And so much damage. Like, I I, just, I don't know what you do if you're paying. You don't have, like, the lineup to take this late game. Maybe once you get the Aghanims on Lena, Monkey King gets, like, a Silver Edge after BKB. I think you have a decent chance then, but it's a lot of a lot of time you might not have. Yeah, Spectre would probably have yet another item by then. And uh, God, Good Lord knows what it could be at this point. Abyssal, maybe? I don't, I'm not too sure. Might just be heart. Yeah. I might just go for the God, go for those would items. Just for, yeah, yeah. She would never die. Because she's doing a ton of damage in the, and you also have Weaver. It's not like you're the only one doing damage. You get those bugs on there. You have yep. a full meal in there. You actually mm -hmm. have a ton of damage, not just on your Spectre. Yep. Which is nice. Roche is up. See you there. Yep. All right, they go in. They go to action. This Roche will die super fast. Pain have a decent Roche fight team, but they're not in position. Not yeah. if they're not in position, possibly not if they're this far behind. Well, they get the Roche done just like that. Ace picks it up. They head back on out. Meanwhile, Pain just trying to bend these lanes, keep them pressured forward, and buy themselves as much time as possible before NIP are able to kind of cross territory and get back on the objective push. That, I mean, if they're not going to fight at Roche, push out the lanes. And they, they, they had all the, the side lanes pushed out, middle pretty even. So they did a decent job of that. They're going to go. See ya. The Aetherland snipe. <laughs> oh, there's, here comes the ulti. Oh, they're trying to TP out frantically. Wow. Misery barely able to make it away. Abyssal Blade it is. He literally queued it up as that happened. He's like, all right, Never they're again. not TPing out again. Never yeah. again. 
Oh, that is, won't happen, but hey, that buys them at least another minute and a half or so, because I don't think NIP's going to want to fight without Haunt up. So buy a little bit of time there. And now Peter might die here. Yep. BKB, bro. All right. Doesn't want to get slept at the risk of getting ran away, I guess. It's feel right. You had King RD right there. He could have woken you up. But I don't know. These BKB, I don't talk about it much. But, well, actually, I do a lot. It's just, it's one of those weird things. Like, they, this team does not care about using their BKBs. 10 seconds, 5 seconds, they'll just pop it for anything. Could be good or bad. Just like using a black hole to get one kill. That could be good <laughs> in some games, bad in others. True. They're going to push the base here, though. All right. Yep. Mind Control trying to slow them down with the hardy push. He's able to move in easily. Gets the Yule set up, but he Shadow Blades to avoid the stun. Ace starts stepping in from the low ground, going right in, but Tavo moves in, gets the black hole on to two. Him. Close to get Fada, able to get the finish. Fada doesn't get the time lapse out. But Misery, pretty good ulti. I think he get the finish onto Ace here. Wow. Oh, they're trying. They do. At least get the Aegis down. But meanwhile, the rest of his team of hooligans just runs in to clean everyone up. All but Weeha. I think they forgot mind control of the cheese. He was like zoning out the the Lena and the Winter Wyvern in the back. They're like, we're gonna get him. <gasps> Peter found we and is just gonna grip him wow. from the front. And mind control is gonna help secure the full five man white. That's it. Where he was just getting bounties. He's like, I'm gonna get bounties. Oh, there's a hero. And now it's about 13. This should def this might be two sets of racks, because they've already killed the tier three top. Mind control with that tree, Spectre with actual bad. damage. No black hole. They do have buybacks, just, four yeah. different buybacks. Two of them they're probably not going to want to use. They may not even want to use the Enigma black hole here. So yeah, like you said, this is probably just an easy two racks. They will use Weeha's buyback since he had plenty of time still dead. But for the others, it doesn't really feel necessary. Look at that. Weeha's just trying to slow it down, but it is not going to work. Chop, chop, chop. It's a siege unit wave two top, so yep. they have a little bit of help from some friends. Yep, there's two full sets of X. They can't take a third. Tier 2 still stands bottom. No magnetize yet. Misery's just going to roll in without it, but he rolls in, gets lifted immediately. They do have the Laguna. Ace tries to run on Ooh. out, but they catch him with a curse. And with mind control there, they won't be able to get the finish. Does have a buyback. Do you want a buyback haunt here to just end the game? Could have. No, they're just uh, going to tank nah, the deaths. Probably not now. Wait. Oh. Yeah, they're not. They got mind control here. All right. Good defense from Pain. Peter will also be finished off. Maybe if Fado was there, I'm sure he would have done like the buyback there. But because Fado wasn't in position, he mm -hmm. can't just fight alone. Yep. So nice two kills there. It helps. Pain, Pain will take anything they can get. It's hey. still a long way to go, though. It is. They saved the melee racks, so it'll heal up at least. Top. True. And and this this Weeha Lena feels so far behind. The Ag's not even up yet. We've been looking at that Ag's for about, I mean, the buyback haven't, but like nine or ten minutes now. Yeah. Yeah, he's about to have it. He can't commit for it, given that his buyback was already used. Oh, but now you got the level 25 Weaver up, so this guy is going to be moving on you. I assume he goes to Sukuchi moving speed, but... Does decent right-click. <laughs> I don't know, I like, I mean, when you have, when you go to like the Daedalus build, which you rarely do on Weaver, plus one Geminate is insanely good. The problem is 200 move speed is 200 move speed. Like the whole point of Weaver, right? You're you're a slimy little guy yeah. slipping in and out, and all of a sudden now you're just permanently over-hasted. Mm. At first he had the MKB queued up, so I was like, eh, maybe he will maybe go hefty on the right click, but it looks like he did change things up a couple of times now. Yeah, now, he's going, now he's going to X. He could just buy it if he wants. I don't mind. Uh, Ax is always good on Weaver. Carry, <laughs> not carry, just yeah. good. Let someone else do the sieging, bail them out if necessary. They'd like, but we'll see here. A little bit of time. Almost a glimmer cape on Wyvern, which will be nice. You know, cold embrace plus glimmer cape can almost save anyone. Plus your ulti, right? You just lock down the other team, save your own teammate. Can be pretty good. Definitely, definitely. And uh, Hart is queued up next for Ace and his Spectre here. So it was already hard enough to kill him. That much harder now. 4.2k. Obviously, we'll hold uh, quite a bit of that money to make sure his buyback is still available in case it is necessary. But it looks like NIP are going to take themselves back towards the top to try to finish what they started inside that base, if possible. How? 
trying to think. What's the best way for pain? I mean, they're doing a good job. They're just pushing out bottom. They're controlling bottom jungle, and they're keeping middle pushed in. You know they're down 10k. I mean, they're playing the map completely correct. The problem is, is it too little too late? Almost a butterfly monkey king, so we'll see. The Zags on Weaver, right? Like, if they just have Ace go commit in, and he just gets, like, ultied once by the Weaver, they, I mean, Dyer just has nothing. Because they, they, they need to commit Laguna all this burst. And if he just gets time-lapsed once, the game's just over. Yeah. I mean, it's good. you should be able to see the potential of him dying just because he's got so much life, and he's about to have a whole lot more. Should be plenty of time for Fata or whoever to be able to go for a bailout. Well, there's 4.3 KHP you're talking about. That's with Agility Treads. Could have Strength. Has this plus 6% dispersion. This guy's a monster. Yeah, he's, he's pretty much at critical mass at this point. Ooh, the dire. They got the black hole. Look, thought they were going to be smoking up right now. Yeah, me too. But uh, no smokes on hand. Woo! Bit of a sidestep blink. 40 minute bounties are still highly contested. Been, well, unfortunately for dire, all four go to radiant. Yeah. That's a rough one. Yeah, they still don't have a whole lot of space to farm with. I mean, that last defense gave them the most space they've had on the map in a while, and it already feels like NIP are kind of getting ready to cross over the river and take it back over again. Yep. Roche could respawn in about a minute, so we'll see. That might be the, the, the game, the time the game ends. Pain might feel forced to fight there, which they should, and if they lose that fight, curtains. Dayless build up on Tiny. Did you mention that already? I it's, did, <laughs> but you did. And it's interesting because it, it's a lot of it's a lot of damage. Molly whopping damage that he wants to dish. Like I mean, if, you just, if you find Winter Wyvern or Lena oh. in the back, you can just one shot him so quickly. Even with Chrysalis, might be able to if you get a crit. Oh, he is see hard. you later, Shrine. They'll get that one, no problem. Weha trying to mend the wounds as fast as he can, pushes out that bottom lane. Top lane's also pushed up pretty good for pain as well. This is a decent amount of space if they want to converge on over to go for a play, and it looks like they are smoked up. They can catch stragglers on the side. Oh, I like this play. Mind Control's pulling the creep camp to the side, not letting it really push ahead at all. Man, I, I don't know. Tavo, he got it. He's got We talked about it, but he has to show up big right here. He had a decent two-man inside the base, but the problem was maybe he needed a three. I want to see a five. Give me a five. Looks like you you can tell Radiant is a little bit scared. They're like, oh, if we do get black hold, like the cores or the pardon me, the supports on pain definitely scale a lot better than mm. Bane Rubik. Like Rubik yeah. scales well, but compared to the, the GPM town of Winter Wyvern and I mean Earth Spirit's level twenty now. Has the hundred and fifty gold per minute. They just scale so much better. We'll see though. Roche time. Pain will not contest it, it looks like. They are putting most of the pressure towards the bottom. In the meantime, HFN did finish that butterfly. There's no answer for that on the uh, side of NIP yet. Ignore, ignore him, kill everyone else, and then yeah. kill him probably. Yeah, they have a yeah. refresher shard on Spectre. I mean, he had to put his Eye of Scotty in backpack. It was TP bottom. And Fada finished that Ags and is going for, or already has the money, or Aeon Disc. They just want to. Def, I mean, that's when you'll know you'll get a time lapse. Yeah, you're like, damn we, sure. we just want Spectre to win us the game. We're all just going to build super tanky and just protect him. Yeah. All right, are we going to have a little bit of a throwdown on pushes here? I see some heavy pressure coming in from NIP, but Pain. Okay, now they're fully withdrawing from that bottom lane push. That's oh. good. But NIP are kind of just taking their time with this one. They have that kind of time, you know, with the Aegis now on their side. In the hands of Ace, he can farm through this bottom lane and just haunt in when the fight does come out. They're just waiting. Ace is literally just probably saying, Mind Control, if you find one guy and you guarantee me a stun. I have so much money on Mind Control. He finishes a Dayless and still has plenty They're for a possible in. buyback. Moves in, just wrecks, wrecks the Wyvern. Move in Stolen Black, black hole. hole, but it's just taken away immediately. And they're just trying to scrap it on out. They will get the Blast Finish onto Mind Control. He's going to buy back to look to get back into action here. Ace trying to fight on forward is has his hands full with this Monkey King a little bit. Misery gets back on in, only finds one connection with the Magnetize onto Fata. Fata moving forward, does have that time lapse. Is he going to be able to use it here? Does he want to bail anyone out? Doesn't even feel necessary. Does use it. It's on the Ace. He doesn't get any life back. He just goes oh. back a bit. Hey there. But it looks like the damage has already been done with the finish of Monkey King. He has no buyback and there's no chance for pain. They call it NIP 2-0. Well, 4-0 pain today. Yeah.
and uh, secured a bracket spot. Yep, and uh, I mean, it just feels like NIP. I wouldn't even say outclass.